Why should I buy a beater of an electric guitar? Well, for two reasons. One is they're usually a bit cheaper, and the other is you don't have to be all precious about them. So it can be quite liberating. Anyway, let's have a listen to this uh, Les Paul studio, and then I'll go into a bit more detail. Let's go. <laughs> And of course we will go through the pickups, they're all set to 10, that's only because there's no 11. So let's have a listen to them starting with the bridge. Into the centre. Should have, I suppose. Let's see how it cleans up. We're again starting with the bridge pickup. <laughs> So why buy yourself a beta? Well, because they're going to be cheaper and of course uh, you don't have to be all precious about, you know, 
how you uh, how you are with them. Uh, I bought a brand new uh, last ball once. I was afraid to touch the damn thing in case I put a mark on it because as soon as I put a mark on it, I devalue it, which is why one that's got you know some uh, use uh, will come in at a lower price. We are in autumn 2023, and generally speaking, any studio in nice condition. Uh, will probably cost you about 200 quid, 1200 pounds English. Uh, they're about 1500 new. Um, one in this kind of condition, seven, 750, something like that. Yeah, so it makes an awful lot of sense. Um, providing that uh, you don't have any structural uh, defects. So this one, there's a little bit of, little bit of uh, playware evidence on the frets, on, which, is, which of course sits on the Rosewood fingerboard, uh, but certainly all the electrics are original. We've got a 490R in the neck, and we've got a 498T in the bridge. The 498T is popping out, best part of 14, I think, on the Richter scale, and the 490R is popping out what you'd expect, you know, late sevens. 7.7, 7.8, something like that. Uh, so, yes, we've got uh, gold hardware that is clearly as tarnished as you like. And certainly the bodywork, well, the mice have been at that one, haven't they? But, it, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the overall presentation is pretty good. I mean, it definitely looks like a rocker's guitar. So let's have a quick, very, very quick look. So you've got five gold... Um, tuning machines, they are all Gibson Deluxe, so clearly that if any of them are going to get it, uh, it's going to be either the D or the G, and of course the D has had it on this occasion and been replaced with a silver one rather than a gold finish one. Again, not a big deal, almost the same from the front. Uh, most importantly, of course, we've got no structural brakes, uh, headstock, neck and neck body areas are intact and free from damage of course you've got plenty of uh, nibbling around the headstock and uh but then and again you see it plays brilliantly it plays just like absolutely any other les paul so if you can see the actual thing face to face brilliant if not uh, either buy it from a shop where you've got some recourse or if it, there's loads of youtube videos these days people do it to you know show that their guitars work and whatever if you can see it being played that's pretty good too um yeah so the uh, string height on this is exactly where we want it at 1.25 on the 12th on the high e and it comes with you know all the standard stuff you'd expect stop town tunematic for black speed knobs exhaust pipe in the usual place and it's in, you know, it's in structurally good order. So buy yourself a beta because you don't have to worry about putting a little bit of a knock on them here and there. And you will not pay as much money as you will do for one that's in pristine nick. Get in. All right. Um, thanks for tuning in, folks. I'll see you soon. Adios, amigos. Ta-ra.